This is the uh, filer unit that goes in the file room. It has the LEDs, uh, the same as the, uh, the operator display. It shows when it's in the cut, and then it shows as the speed ups occur or the slowdowns. When the saw is cutting good, you're going to be getting all speed ups. If you get uh, P3 snake, this light will come on, and if the guide calibration is outside of its uh, startup uh, figures, uh, this light will come on, letting them know that something's gone wrong with the uh, with the saw guide. It's either uh, worn or it's got a shim. For the XL reports, you have. Uh, the shift reports, whether it's an A shift, B shift, or C shift, those are set up automatic unless you get an unscheduled uh, saw change. Also, if the Excel uh, reports would get corrupted some way, uh, you have a manual zero by holding the C shift down for two seconds. So this, this half here is the head rig, this half here is the resaw. And on the, uh, on the resaw, uh, we're doing five depths of cut. This tells us this is the large depth of cut, and then down through which one is going through the machine at this time. From there, we have scope power. You want to shut the scope down on the weekends. You can uh, switch. They have an extra uh, vertical uh, resaw here where you can switch that in. The thing about the scope, each uh, centimeter division here is ten thousandths of an inch movement in the saw. All right, the oscilloscope gives you the exact movement of the saw. If the saw would run back in the cut, you could actually see each tooth. Uh, a saw that has been welded several times, you'll see that weld coming through. So what the oscilloscope does, it allows you to use your brain and uh, see exactly how the saw is oscillating and movement and moving. Also, if you have a bad bearing, which is being transmitted from the, the hub of the wheel, it will actually transmit out to the rim of the wheel which transmits the signal to the oscilloscope. So the oscilloscope will show like a 60 cycle sine wave uh, of a bearing pattern telling you that hey we got some bearings going out and this has been very useful in many mills. Uh, some of the modern band mills are using cheaper bearings with uh, greater tolerances and it tells you that hey those bearings are are not tight enough they're not high grade enough so that's the basic uh, unit uh, that goes in the file room the lights on top will alert the filers to uh, problems that they can uh, check out and see what's going on the max control screen is the one I like. Besides the oscilloscope, it tells you how the, uh, the control is working when you're in the cut. In this case, when we have a Sawyer handle, it tells you where the Sawyer has the handle. You can see when he gets down to the end of the cut, uh, he speeds up to get it where he's going to discharge uh, the flitch or the cant. So this is... Uh, for the filers is a real important uh, screen to be watching uh, and they don't watch it all the time maybe when it starts up and when they walk by uh, it lets them know how things are going out there in uh, some mills the Sawyer calls for a saw change in other mills uh, the filer calls for a saw change but this gives them the information they need to know how the saw is uh, operating.
We've had it probably going on about, I'd say, 10 years. Well, it definitely helped us. A lot of the things we found out, and, you know, we saw we had a little more dish in our saws than we realized. And, uh, you know, it helped with the deviation. And, I mean, you know, it's a very good tool for the saw filers to help them find problems. Yeah, here we're here to show you the vibration in there. If you get a bearing or something that's going out or a wheel that a crack or even if you get a lot of sawdust built up on your wheels and stuff during your running, and it gets to vibrating a whole lot, it shows the vibration and, and it shows the deviation on it. So uh, yeah, you got a lot of, uh, you know, you can see what's going on with, with your meals. We don't change saws, we just be changing them, I mean, we change them most of the time, it's not running good, that's for sure. Uh, maybe got dull or maybe, you know, you hit, uh, definitely going to hit stuff once in a while, but, you know, but uh, all in all, it, it works pretty good. So I got uh, these lights on the soft control system here behind me. If it gets to deviating over 15,000, you'll see them start flashing and uh, if it gets to doing that pretty regular, we, we stop it, clean it out, or change saws, or whatever we need to do. But when we figure out what we need to do, we do it. Well, uh, I, I really wouldn't like it. I mean, because we got used to running with it now, so it's a, it's like I say, it's a part of our filing room, and we're, we're used to it, and we know, we know how everything's supposed to run. But like I say, I think it's a good system for a filing room, I will say that, but uh, I'm not just sitting here uh, just blowing smoke, I'm just not, it's the truth. Okay, now you're the head pilot here, right? Yes, sir, I am. Been here 16 years and I enjoy doing my job.